for an early access product, Hard Space Shipbreaker is quite possibly one of the best I've played in a while. Where every, like, there are frustrating little bits here and there, but almost everything else just feels so good that it does, it's, I just don't care. Alright, ooh. I don't think I, I don't know if I've ripped apart one of the industrial ones. There's not as much money out of it. That's the one thing I'm noticing. I'm going to do it anyway. Hopefully this means less industry. Uh, let's see. Uh, how are you finding the lore? Um, for hard space? I admittedly, I'm not really. Ooh. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't broken the ship before. This is, this is a new design. All right. Well, let's do what we can. Take off the sensor tower. Oosh, that's a big sucker. This is fun. So yeah, let's let's crack some industrial ships today. Seeing as this is actually going to be new for me. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Looks like a number of these things are just panels and whatnot that I'm not going to be able to get into. Okay, so where the heck is the airlock? We got two in the back right here. All right. We're good. Airlock pressure levels yeah, I can dropping. explain the lore for you on this game if you like. Maybe. I'm not... Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, I don't have any more of those keys. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Okay, that's the two of those. Now, this crew quarters is... Air pressure is pressurized. I don't know what's in half of these, so I don't want to truck with it too much. Air pressure level decreasing. Oh. I see. Alright, let's try that again. Air pressure level increasing. That didn't work. Alright, there we go. Oh. Okay, well, now that we got that door open, we can depressurize this whole business. Air pressure I think. level decreasing. Or not. Screw it. Air pressure level decreasing. Not that big of a deal. I just have to watch out for the shotgunning data drive. I, that's what happens when I try and play it safe. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Ooh. We can get this right off the bat. Okay, I did get it. Alright, so that's good. Uh, you know what? While we're here... Let's disconnect this. That's not even centered. I feel lied to. I'm very glad that there's at least one more ship design here for me to play around with. Oh, that's not that. So the power generator's on the other side. How the hell do we get to the cockpit from here? Or, oh. We get to the cockpit through via the crew quarters. Okay, so this is the cockpit. Everything else is loose. Let's go back and take a look at the rest of this. So this might take a little longer than I was expecting it to. That's fine. Well, this isn't necessarily the... start that I was necessarily going for, but that's okay. Let's just take off the uh, nacelles and then go from there. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a sensor array. That's not a nacelle. I I'm sorry. Oh, that's actually scrap. What? 
Why does that count as... You know what? I give up. So, does this thing not have any nacelles? Oh, it doesn't. It's got big sensor arrays. Okay. Well, we've got an opening here. How the heck do we get into, like, half of this stuff? What are we even doing? Industrial hoists? Got a lot of loot. It looks like there's... Huh. There's a lot of space here that I guess I could just start cutting into. Like, unlike the, uh, the passenger transport one, this one is just kind of large amounts of open space. And yes, I... I know it says above the oxygen meter, uh, you, the destination of the thing and where I'm supposed to send it. It's just up until now, all of those sensor bars uh, that I've grabbed have gone straight to the barge. Hence my confusion, because that's not where that went. I guess because I broke it when I pulled it off, or who the heck knows? Yeah, I've, been, I've been playing this for a while, I got the basics. Alright, got anything else, or are these loose? These might be loose, actually. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop the top off this sucker. Warning, salvage and destroy damage. Please avoid damaging valuables. The hell did I hit? Well, oh, these rail guides are electrified. I get it. All right. Well, first and foremost, let's go with the easy option. I'm just going to remove the power generator. Maybe that'll help. Who the heck knows? Yeah, I like cutting stuff with this. I almost wish there was, like, a restricted version that only cuts the, uh, the thing that you're exactly looking at. Like, if you get close enough, that's the case. But, like, I really wish I could actually specifically press a button. Or even have, like, a mode where it's it's safe mode on. Or just cut the shit out of everything I don't care mode. Because I, I feel like having having that as an option would be kind of nice. See, isn't that the point of the stinger? The problem is the stinger is really freaking slow. Okay. Oh. We're running out of oxygen. Uh, let's see. How many more of these things can I cut off? The problem is this entire area is electrified, so I'm going to zap myself just getting to it. Oh, let's see. It is a precision tool. I know. But, like, just a targeted function on this thing, because it's entirely up to the character what he's aiming at. Like... Let's see, did that damage your tool like crazy? Oh, it did. That's Welcome problematic. Oxygen level stabilizing. Let's see. So I'm pretty sure almost all of this goes just in here. That's a nice big panel. Oh, I see. These are separate. Still not seeing anything that implies this has to go anywhere else other than just into the processor. I'm just going to pull these out. Are these chilled out finally? Looks like they have. Nope. That hasn't quite. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Okay, now it has. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's keep cutting these. But yeah, so like when I'm looking at this, for example, I kind of wish... Notice how like here, it's giving me way too much of a cut. If I could limit it down, like press and hold a button that makes it so I only, you know, cut like this. It, it's just a little too easy to, uh, to cut too much. And yes, I realize that this stinger is supposed to be the, uh... Curtis, you got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. We wrap. I realize the stinger is supposed to be the precision aspect. Uh, but I feel like the stinger should actually be the long range one. More so than just precision. Maybe. Okay. So, how much of the. Some of these are actually loose already. This entire front side is. Let's see. Alright. I'm gonna try. separating these out. I'm not entirely sure. What's connecting all of them, and how? So these, yeah, the shipping crate crates go to the barge. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna spend the last couple of minutes just cutting this, this all apart. I think I'm liking this shuttle a little bit better. There's. There's more stuff, yes, but less mess. Like, it's a lot of big pieces. Okay, and since I have limited time and less limited tethers, I'm probably just going to pull out a number of these shipping crates. Okay. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Because I'm just not going to have enough... I'm just not going to have enough time before we run out of... time here. That's not going to hit me. Salvage secured. Credit a giant coward. Yeah, look at how clean this is, though. Compared, compared to the other ship, which is just, like, chair hell, this actually feels... easy? Sure? Like, considerably so. Okay, let's go back to cutting some of these open. That actually just separated Salvage it out. Secured. Perfect. Account credit applied. Let's see. Saying the other ship is, isn't charitable enough or too charitable? Interesting question. Don't know. I, the other ship, I think the main issue is just the fact that I don't have good tools for separating a bunch of chairs out immediately. And so it was better for me, uh, strategically, to fire the entire floor, chairs attached, into the barge. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Which, like, that sounds a little silly, but that's kind of my point. It is kind of silly. Cut it. We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. There's, like, this whole thing, I've more or less managed to separate out almost entirely uh, already. And, like, the entire guts of this thing, maybe once we get into the crew, crew compartment, it's going to be a little harder. And I definitely would agree that, like, we're going to have some problems with the electrical bits. Credits awarded. 
Why did you go there? Oh. Okay. Sure, that eh, ran at a time, but that's okay. Yeah, 1.2 million. I lost very little. Very little stuff. Yeah, you got a lot done for doing the ship blind. Yup. Didn't get as much money, but that's okay. The money usually comes after the first day. Ah. Uh, and once once I understand this sucker better, it won't be so bad at all. Woo, my cutter almost went down. Let's just repair everything. Repair kits are cheap. Salvage deposit accepted. Oh, shoot, is that the reactor? Oh, no, that's the reactor in the back. Okay. Let me see. Here, we got a couple of these. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep going for the cut points. I got a little distracted removing things, but having that extra room to maneuver helps. Oh, you know what? The other reason why I really like this ship, it doesn't have a giant screw you compartment on the inside. It's got two very distinct ones. And that actually makes a massive difference when it comes to maneuvering and like parts. Did I get all three? Yeah, see, that's where a precision button would have helped, but without it, I guess it did go a little faster for me. Okay, so I'm going to be able to remove that. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Let's check the other side here for a second. What here can be removed? Because ideally, I'd like to get this entire middle section just gone. Because if I can do that, then this whole thing is just free and clear and totally accessible for me. It doesn't look like it has annoying crawl space either. Yeah. Okay. I think this is free and clear to go. Let's Let's start ripping out some of these panels. Uh, let's see, so this one. Let's actually go for one of the lighter ones. If one of those is 4,000 kilos, it might be connected to something a little bit valuable. Whereas anything that's like 1,000 kilos probably doesn't have anything of any immediate cash money connected. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Here's the question. Do I send both of these down? Oh. I guess they separate out on their own. E. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. So are you actually connected to any gosh darn things? Doesn't seem like it. Salvage I think it's just big. Accepted. Credits transferred. We'll do two. Yep, nope. Just big superstructure. As a kid, my parents always hated it when I bought the Lego sets Processing valuable objects. that had the Credit big awarded. pieces. And as a kid, I was always disappointed because I wanted the big pieces because they were the cool ones. And then eventually I realized, yeah, but you can't do as much with the big pieces. And then I realized, who cares? The big pieces were Salvage awesome. <laughs> Account credit applied. Okay. So what are these connected to? Or is it less what is it connected to and more... I have to go pretty dang far back to actually get that out of there. At least currently. Uh, 
Let's see. So I think I think we've got the entire front side cleared out. Mostly. There's at least a little bit. Oh, that's not part of it. Okay. So I think this giant piece is just loose. And it doesn't have a, a single useful bit here. Cool. Makes my life easier. So as long as I respect the electrical section, this will probably remain my, my favorite of the two uh, geckos. Dude, wait, you got a Twitch profile? Is that to me? I've been streaming for, gosh, six years now? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. So, yeah. I get. I guess so. They respect the elect. Exactly. See, I can, I can just send the keel in with the rest of this. Or what do we got on the top? Because I've been kind of lazy about this entire area. It seems like almost all of it just goes into the processor. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Give it a yank. Yeah, I'll give this one a yank. Because I think it's currently friction just keeping both of those in place. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I need to respect that a little bit more than I had been. Your oxygen yeah. reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. So it seems like I have to respect the top object a little bit more accepted. than I had been. Please revisit your training. Because the top is a little bit better packed. Or maybe not better packed. Better packed is... Valuable I don't know. There's just a lot of moving pieces on the top. And it collapses maybe a little too easily. Now right, let's squander one more tether. To what? Oxygen reserves are critical. I'm Please not contact your plan sure. administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. Big. All right. There we go. Welcome to Vendidron 9000. I wanted oxygen to use that last tether, but still. Yeah, you guys do not need to yell at me about oxygen, oxygen as evidenced by the oxygen. fact that I am hella fast. Oxygen. Okay. Oh, I did actually get it in the end. It's probably better to use the cutting tool on this one, though. Look at that go. Cool. Uh, let's see. That's a good... That's some good stuff. Gosh, I have just removed this thing. So I think the next time we do this, what I'm going to want to do is actually uh, sever all of the connection points on that central ramp. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. What's going on? I don't think it liked that. Okay. Let's take a look at this jumbled horror mess. Because, yeah, I, I 
I didn't play Jenga particularly Salvage well secured. here. Credits deposited. Which, like, realistically, not the big of deal. All right, I think that's good. We can send that off. Gosh, look at all this stuff. This sucker right, might Cutter, be too big. You got five minutes left of this shift before they turn the lights out on you. Need a batter. We wrap. Yeah, go figure I'd mess this whole thing up. Because all of this goes to the processor, from what I can tell. But I didn't extricate it particularly well from itself and from the other parts. And so now I just have this, like, giant thing. Oh no, even, even this... All goes to the processor. Well, certain, certainly solves my electrical issues. Oh. I guess one part of that actually didn't need to go to the processor, but you know what? Grand scheme of things, for now, for this? Okay. So. Here's the question. Coolant pipe. I have no idea if coolant pipes are... Pressurized? Looks like it was a good... This is a good... Uh, let's see. I think this walkway... Removing it is going to be a nightmare. That should be good. Are these separate? Yeah, these are separate. Cool. So, I've got a lot of bits that are just kind of floating. And I think Salvage it's in my best detected. interest to actually Credit just kind of shop. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I did not respect the coolant pipe. Not the most respectful boy right now. Here's the question. How connected is this coolant pipe? If we're lucky... I can just remove that, and this whole coolant pipe is loose. Valuable object processed. Okay, Credit so that's Dunsky. Let's take a look at this horror monster of a behemoth. Can I remove it? No, it's too big. What about you? You can go. Nope, that's still connected to something. Ooh. Hey! Thank you for the raid! Uh, Stump Friends and Associated Raiders, how are you guys doing? I am still playing... Uh, I, I'm still playing Hard Space Shipbreaker. This game is super fun. It's... Easiest way I could describe it, Viscera cleanup detail crossed with, uh, space engineers? Nope, that didn't connect. Where you're effectively ripping ships apart to the best of your abilities and selling the components. Wow. I think this might actually... Valuable object Credits deposited. Health levels are low. Might actually be the lightest thing I've ever thrown. Welcome to Health levels are critical. And I almost killed myself Note with it. Medical kits are available for purchase Damn, that was a crunch. Alright, Cutter. Wrap it up. We got about a minute left. How the heck did I not get completely wrecked there? I don't even know. I think that's a... Uh, I don't know. It says barge. It goes to the barge. Salvage secured. Account and just because applied. it's 86 kilograms does not mean it can't absolutely destroy 
uh, my entire setup. Oh, dang it. Happened again. No, what? 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 What are you... Go down. There we go. Salvage Everything secured. gets weird sometimes. Alright, so I still gotta remember... I, I still gotta figure out how to remove this whole thing. Unfortunately, I've made a giant mockery of the innards of this poor ship. As I effectively just... I cut out, I cut out the middle of the tiki... Tiki totem and am paying the consequences for it. Still, look at that. Look at how efficient this is. I have lost at maximum a little bit of coolant pipe and a little bit of scrap, and then everything else is just pure profit. That's good stuff. Let's see. So, what am I paying the most for? Interest is the biggest. No, oh, actually, no. So, if I can pay off my cutter and my grapple. My suit and my scanner, that would cut cut out about three hundred thousand of my my regular payments. And then after that it's interest, which should not surprise gosh, it's expensive. Whew. Alright. Uh did anything get terribly broken there? The answer is no. I've got a lot of points, but I don't really have much to spend it on. Uh it might be a good idea to invest in a little bit of electricity resistance. Let's do that. probably save up to purchase my scanner because I, I can't get the rest but we're gonna have way more LT than we have anything else do I go for the fuel capacity I see I've never had to refuel yet so it doesn't really seem terribly necessary I don't care too much about cryo or heat resistance yet uh, let's go let's see seems like eating an elephant yeah kind of this poor ship what is this this would be day three we might actually be able to get this in three days oops I realize there's a totally random nanocarbon panel just floating there uh let's see is this one yeah this one's freaking heavy but it can be removed this one's the big deal. I haven't fi I haven't found the connector, connector, the attachment point, and that's something I should probably prioritize. Connect. Yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. How are you connected? Is there a way I can cut it free? Oh, it's connected via the airlocks again. As usual. Stupid airlocks. I feel bad. I'm also completely floored that I haven't broken more. Like, at best, I just pissed off some electricity. Uh, let's take the top off here. That should work. Object accepted for processing. What a deposited. gosh darn mess. Okay. I can I can at the very least remove that. Let's see, do you always only have fifteen minutes? Yes. Uh so effectively your your day is split up into fifteen minute uh work days. And you do not get more time than that. Personally, I wish you did. I I wish, uh... Processing valuable object. I mean, we're in Credit freaking award. space. There really shouldn't be too much of a work day here. Well, I mean, I guess it could be. It's probably a lot easier to do this when the sun's pointed at you, now that I'm thinking about it. So, no. I rescind that. A work day makes total sense. Okay. So, I think we got all the doors open here, yeah? Cool. Yeah, it's also a way to break up the expenses, rent, interest, and whatnot, mechanically. Yeah. I could... Flip side, I could see it being nice if they actually added, like, a... 
a morning, day, and night timer or something like that. And so, like, you could go past, but you start seeing... Your character starts uh, having issues if you work them too hard and some other things, or who knows what. Like, it would, it would be interesting if they did get deep in... Ooh. That's risky. We just had a coolant tank right next to us. Let's not hit ourselves in the face with it. More than once. Eh. Bam. All right. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Surprisingly, that does not break break it. Storage bins are shockingly resilient. But it would be nice if you could actually pay to increase, like, as an upgrade, increase your, uh, your work day. Or pay, like, a small fee at this store to, to increase it temporarily. Just as a, like, I am almost done with what I'm doing. Give me, like, two more minutes so I don't have to spend another full day working on this tomorrow. Which, I guess, conversely, the flip side would be, uh, letting you order a new ship. Well, no, I guess that doesn't make sense. Because ordering a new ship to be delivered, you'd really kind of want that overnight. Are these separate? I think so. Salvage it's separate. Secured. No, it's not. Credits deposited. It hasn't. Aha. There we go. Now they are completely separate from each other, and I can grab the last couple of bits, and then we're good. See, maybe when you can pay off your debts. Maybe. I I still feel like the progression system in this game should be immense. Like, just keep giving me things to work towards. Because the core gameplay itself Salvage is... Secured. I'm not going to say perfect. To say a game is perfect is to say that there is nothing that can be done to improve it. And that is never true. There's a lot of games that, like, are near perfect but could still be improved. Accepted. Credits transferred. Okay, let's stay away from that so I don't electrocute myself. These computer terminals are incredibly secured. finicky beasts. Credits deposited. Okay. Now you should be good to go. Oh, and it's pointed right at it. Oh, Salvage that's good stuff. Secured. Account credit applied. Uh, that should be good. Okay. So, probably a fair bit left here for me to mess around with. Oh. Easy. That is the easy M. Previously, I can probably just remove it this time. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. That should work. Or, it's the ECU. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Pull you in. You're way too big to fire. So I'm just gonna pull you out. I got some time. Let's see. Go full house uh, house flipper and let you make your own ships. I actually would Welcome really enjoy that Android. if they added that. As a as like a later feature of. I mean, they've already got the building blocks clearly. I will say, they are adding the ability for you to make custom ships. Sorry. Uh, you can make custom ships eventually. Uh, so, I guess it'll be close enough. It just might, might not be codified gameplay-wise. It might be like a, a separate building tool. Gosh. That, though, is kind of a dream. 
like, can you imagine somebody going through the effort of making the full-on Death Star? Uh, for us to, Credit like, just transferred. rip apart piece by piece? Especially if this game got multiplayer, like, oh, that would be so good. That's the ECU, Engineering Control Unit, Environmental Control Unit. So close. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. The game really does not like close quarters like this. Let's see. So I'm, now I'm just going to rip out all of the systems in here. Because if I can get this out of the way, then we can go tackle the back on the last day and have no trouble. This is a much faster ship and a much more interesting setup. Ooh, data drive. Missed this. Probably because that's the one that didn't hit me in the face. I get that very distinct feeling I'm not going to be able to get that out conventionally. Maybe if I do some tricks, but hard sell otherwise. Still so much Credit easier deposited. than freaking share hell in the other ship. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Okay, what the heck are you? Oh, that's a fuse. Right to the furnace with you. Goodbye. I do not loot demonic hell beasts. Random light sitting next to me, though. I can, I can do that. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. Is... We wrap. I don't know why they keep rotating crazily. That part's just weird. Salvage secured. Like, it should come out Credits smooth, deposited. but it is having issues. Let's see, how much debt is he in now? Uh, I think I'm at 940 mil, almost exactly. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So it's a lot of debt. Hey, and this is a ship that I can actually use the whole buffalo with minimal issues. I... I... I like recycling. I like the idea of recycling. The more waste I actually have in this game, it does... Like, I'm a little cavalier about it normally, but it does annoy me. Because it feels like a personal failure, but there's just no easy way to... Salvage everything cleanly for some of the ship types. At least not currently. Let's see, maybe add a debt command? Yeah, but I don't want to have to have my moderators update it constantly. That sounds awful. Uh Salvage destroyed. Please refrain from damaging salvage. Oh, the mattress goes to the furnace. What? No second hand mattresses? Really? actually makes total sense. You really do not want to have a second-hand mattress. We'll have to see if the crew beds are actually worth something. Because if they're not really Credit worth money, deposited. I think I will just not bother with them in the future. Not a lot of computers on this ship. Were there? Okay. Salvage secured. Do a second quick, quick look. I think this whole place is good. There's like one or two lights, but that's it. Alright. You get in there. How oh, heavy are you? Actually, stupid light. We cleared this this thing out. Quick. Alright. Now this chumbus. Yeah, I don't necessarily see where all of these things are meaningfully co connected, which is a Problem? Okay, this is connected.
I'm a little afraid that this heat sink is the connection point. It is. It was. Holy crap, that was a connection point. I was actually connecting several uh, fairly important panels. Deposit accepted. Wait. This is the airlock? Am I up? Oh, I am upside down. I got very confused for a second. I was like, where am I? What is going on? Okay. So I've taken pretty much all of the bottoms off. We gotta probably remove the airlocks next. Send the door door panels on. See the red areas down there bother you. They bother me too. Luckily, they're it's like nothing. It's like a Valuable smidge of scrap touching the bottom. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep and let's finish strong. Okay. Didn't get it. This is separate? Cool. Not the cleanest cuts. But I'm just trying to get things out of here. Did I get the other one? What did happen to that heat sink? Or did I actually send it down? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. And an aluminum panel, I guess. Okay. 2.3 mil? Uh, let's see, what did I lose? Couple aluminum panels. Yeah, not bad. Okay, equipment is... We'll want to do a, a rebuild afterwards. Wow. Yeah, so this got me a lot of coolant. The one issue is I'm not getting nearly as much electrical. We need those computers from freaking chair hell. <sighs> so I'm probably going to have to go back to that one. Uh, let's see. Water, can you turn up your mic input a bit? Maybe I... I think my microphone is just far from my face. Do I sound better now? Or maybe now? No, it is down. That, why? Oh! There, that should be better. <laughs>